These are the top of the range Pinarello and Orbea superbikes, designed to make professionals and experienced road cyclists as fast as possible. But what would happen if these superbikes were ridden by total beginners? How fast would they be then? We're going to find out. Harriet and Bruno are our willing volunteers. They know how to pedal and that's about it. But they love riding bikes and that's what it's all about. But will they love it more on the superbikes? Sorry Richardson, eat your heart out. <laughs> Hi, Harry. Hi, Bruno. Hello, Hello man. How are you? Very good. A bit scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. First up, tell me a little bit about your cycling experience. So it's next to none, really. I mean, like I occasionally ride to work and uh, occasionally on the uh, like public bikes in Cardiff, but um, yeah, it's next to none. I'm definitely not an athlete. So, <laughs> how about you, Bruno? So I've kind of more have uh, fallen off the wagon a little bit, uh, so to speak, in that I did a lot of cycling a few years back and basically haven't done any in the last three or four years. So I'm sort of a beginner, but mostly just way out of form. So. <laughs> well, today I have a few surprises for you, a few challenges, but I have got some new fancy pants bike and kit for you. Nice. So I'm going to send you off to get changed and then get back and we'll start the challenges. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs> so I've got a few challenges lined up for our two beginners today. I'm going to start them off with a nice old hill climb. Then we're going to move on to some sprint challenges and then they're going to do a TT around the park here. And if that's not enough, I'm going to make them do the TT all over again, but on their usual bikes to see how much difference these two super bikes make to their performance. Let's get into it. Guys, you look the part. You look pro. Look at you. I feel really out of place. <laughs> what are you thinking of the bikes and the kit? I love it. Lovely. Super lightweight. It's really slick. Easy to move in. It's all good. Easy to carry around. Easy to carry around. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Great for walking with, which suits me nicely. Same. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, you're looking great, but we're going to throw you straight into it with a hill climb. We're going to start just here, and I want full gas effort from bottom to the top. And then when you get to the top, I'll ride up and uh, we'll see how you get on. Uh-oh. Let's do it. Yeah. Have you ever done a hill climb before? <laughs> I mean, not on purpose. <laughs> not on purpose. No. <laughs> you have a hill though. Yeah. Cavendish Road might not look too tough, and it's not at the bottom, but at the top, there are gradients of up to 16%. Ouch. Right, Harriet, you're up first. <gasps> Good luck. This is actually called Cavendish Road as well. Not that we're going to do much sprinting on it today, but, you know, going uphill. So, good luck. Okay. Are you ready? No. Here we Three, go. <laughs> two, one, off oh. you go. Oh, Jesus. All right. Off she goes. Woo! Woo! Right. Oh, horrible way. Oh. Sorry, Carl. Oh, oh no. How is this the easiest gear? No. Right. No. Oh. oh my god. Man on lied to me. Right. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Give me a minute. Okay. That's the boy. God, I am unfit. Oh, oh my god. Uh, no. Oh my god. I'm so unfit. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to walk up. Don't tell my I'm sorry to everyone who were killed to ride a Pinarelli or whatever this is called. But I'm not cut out for it. Now I'm going to ride up to the letterbox and no one will ever know. Oh. 
No, I'm, I'm gonna ride, I'm gonna ride. But... She'll never know. Oh my God, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. Right, let's go Bruno. Three, two, one, off you go. Whoop. And he's Whoop. off. Oh, flying start. Hold Maybe on, hold there. on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, oh. He's in, woo! Oh no! <laughs> there we go, there we go. How many gears have we got left? Just the one, just the one. Oh, I'm feeling it. That is a savage climb. You made it. How was it? Horrid. Horrid? <laughs> Absolutely horrid. How was the bike? <laughs> it was nice, but I think it's ultimately down to my fitness level. I just could not take it. <laughs> How about you, Bruno? <laughs> Part of the course, really. Like, the bike was great, and I was what was slowing it down. Plus, like, you know, there's, there's got to be at least a kilogram of water in that bottle right yeah, there. Yeah, that's like, really slowing you down. Yeah, well, on your bike. Yeah. Um, I'll give you a little bit of time to recover, but we've got a sprint next, so back oh, down the hill. <laughs> I guess it's going to be flat this time. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. Oh. right then, sprint challenge next. We set out roughly about 100 metres for you guys to sprint. We're going to have a nice roll in, so you're going to be on your bikes ready to go. And then once we come out the bollards, that's when you're going to sprint. You want full gas, all the power, as much speed as you can get out of the bikes. I'm going to be sprinting alongside you, give you some extra support, pretty much just shout at you and scream at you to go faster. Are we ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> how, how, I are mean, we, how are we feeling feel about sprinting? Readier than I was for the climb, that's for sure. Oh yeah, if it's like, anything like the climb, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Well, at least you're nice and warmed up now. Oh. That's, that's, that's a plus, but... Hopefully what, this will be a bit easier. Do you reckon yeah. you're going to sprint on your tops or are you going to go in the drops? I might, I might give the drops a go. <laughs> On, on the drop handlebars or on the tops? Oh, I'll probably just stick to the... Yes, play it safe. Stick to the top. Right, let's do it. Right, Bruno, let's go. Okie dokie. Right, oh. Oh, oh. Eh. There we go. <laughs> right, we'll roll into it. Yeah. Nice and steady. And then once we get out the bollards... These ones are the next ones. The next one, the next, next ones. bollards. <laughs> Select your gear choice. Yeah. And then we're going to be off. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to get it all getting in the big room. So we can start ramping it up yeah. a little bit. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. In three, I'm ready. two, one, off we go. Oh, he's off. Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, ah. he's flying. <laughs> Go on, Nick, stop with you. Oh. Ah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I was fast. Oh. Oh, feeling it in my thighs. Speedy. Right at the end there. A bit there. of a lactic acid. Yeah. Oh, Still not bad as that hill though. I'm impressed oh, with that. Thank you. How did you find it? Good. I'm definitely, definitely a sprinter, not a climber. <laughs> Same From that experience. How was the bike? Was... Uh, really, really good actually. Like, did it feel fast? Yeah, it did. Like, it just wanted to get off the line. Like, um, like with my, with my usual bikes. They're just so heavy and you've got to really like manhandle them underneath you and like you've got to put that work in to just get it up to speed. It's like a lot of a lot of weight that you've got to put momentum into. Whereas this is just like, all right, let's go. What about the handlebar situation? Because that's quite different yeah. to what you used was, to, I guess. It was definitely like twitchier. It felt like the, the bike was switching around underneath me a little bit. Mostly because I'm used to being out here and having quite a little bit of extra leverage going on. But um, yeah. Didn't stop me. No, did you're flying. <laughs> right, let's go back and uh, set Harriet off. Right, so we'll get past the bollards. We'll all right. start ramping up a bit then. Three, two, one. All the speed all right. and energy that you've got. If I have any left. You definitely have. I can feel it. I feel like this is going to be a fast one. 
Oh. Bit of a dark horse, I reckon. I reckon she's pretty right. quick. Okay. Obviously, these bollards. Yeah, those are bollards. So after that, we'll uh, right. then ramp it up. Ooh. Good. Channel my inner Hank. <laughs> In three, two, one. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, she's off. She's quick. Look at the speed. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Nice! Oh my god! <laughs> we can stop now! Three! Oh. <laughs> How was that? That was so fun! <laughs> Did it feel fast? Yes! I felt the wind going. It was wind very hair. It's amazing. How, how's the bike? Amazing. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. Really, how's really like the, the handling? Because obviously it's quite different to what you're used to. Yeah, yeah. The um, the back brake is on a different side to yeah. my bike. I was just clinging onto that just in case I needed Taking, it. But... It takes a bit of getting used to. But <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing you probably don't do efforts like that when you're just out riding your normal bike, do you? Absolutely so, not. Absolutely not. <laughs> do you think you'll be incorporating a few sprints into your, into your commute? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right, let's go back to Bruno. All right. Right, next up, we have the time trial. Anybody know what the time trial is? Well, I've played a lot of Mario Kart, and I know it's just going around as fast as you can, basically. Ba basically, do exactly the same on your bike. So we're going to go around the park. It's just shy of a mile long. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Harriet, Ladies let's first. do it. <laughs> right, Harriet, let's do this. Let's do Three, this. two, one, off you go. Go on, oh. she's off. I wish I could stand up on my saddle, but I can't do that yet. Bike is fantastic. The, uh, the poor performance is definitely a user error. We've done the time trial on the super bikes. We're now going to go and do a bit of transformation, get back into your normal kit and your normal bikes. How do you think it's going to go on your normal bikes? Slowly. Slowly? Slowly. But you might be more comfortable on your normal bike. You might be more confident because it's your bike. What, what do you think? I mean, there was definitely that anxiety riding this around that I didn't want to absolutely hammer it around the corner because yeah. I don't want to crash this. <laughs> yeah, Ollie will be, will be mad. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. the most expensive thing I'll ever sit on. So I'm, just, <laughs> like, I'm glad I haven't crashed it yet. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, both of yeah. you for beginners have absolutely smashed it. And honestly, I think you're going places. Like, yeah. seriously good for beginners. I think this has probably changed me. I'm a change woman. Oh, well. Ooh. Let's get back on your normal bikes and see how it goes. Let's, Let's go it. for it. <laughs> Right, Bruno, you're back on the whip, ready for another TT. The only thing you're missing is a little puppy sat in your basket. Yeah, it wouldn't be very aero though. That's not the only not thing, aero though. though, anyway. <laughs> right, are you ready? Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Three, two, one, off you go. Sound very good. On a super bike. I had a bit more energy here to pick it up again, but now I'm just like, well, I want this to be done. Oh, just starting to feel that burn now. Right, you've done the time trial on your normal bikes. How did it compare, firstly? Before we go through the times, how did it compare? Harriet, 
How was yours? I was definitely more comfortable on this bike because uh, the tires are nice and thick and it's just what I'm used to. Uh, also, the saddle is more cushiony. You prefer um, your saddle to the superbike prefer, saddle? Yeah, the superbike saddle has a hole in it for some reason. Um, <laughs> so I didn't really like that very much. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, I think I prefer this bike, even did you, though... How did you, did you feel more comfortable, more confident? I did. On the climbs, it, like, because I'm used to riding this one more, it was a bit nicer, even though it was slower, but it was just nicer on my legs. Okay. So. And what about you, Bruno? How was your run? It was good. It was certainly a lot comfier on my massive wide tyres, but those massive wide tyres were obviously a lot slower too. Um, it felt like I had to put a lot more effort into just lugging the bike around and getting it up to speed. Like, Is that like the initial thought you had once you set off? You're like, this is a bit heavier. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And even, even with not having to faff about clipping in, I felt like I was still slower off the line with yeah. this and with flat pedals that I can just step on, so. Mm. What about um, like confidence-wise? Um, How did you feel? Confidence-wise, I was definitely more confident on this just because it is a big, fat, supple bike that has really wide bars on it that you, like, you can wrestle the thing around and it's absolutely fine, but yeah. And you're, in, you're in 18 seconds slower on this bike, which isn't really that much when you go from, you know, the super duper bike to your everyday commuter bike. It isn't, but I guess that's where the money goes on uh, on super expensive bikes like that. Like you, you're hunting out those marginal gains. Exactly. Um, like you want to, that money goes towards research. It goes to development. It goes to manufacturing processes that, like, you couldn't get a bike that is as light and as stiff without spending that money. And this this is never going to be a bike like that. Um, and the price reflects that accordingly. And Harriet, you were 1 minute 40 slower on your bike, <laughs> yep. but you were on two completely different bikes. Very you were on different. a super bike that was built for speed, aerodynamics, yes. and then you went to your bike, which is essentially a mountain bike. Yeah. Not built for speed. Not built for speed no. at all. <laughs> but how has today been as a whole for you and your experience on a super bike? Has it made you, you know, want to go out and invest in a super bike, or are you quite happy? Maybe, but I'm definitely not after speed in my day-to-day -day life. I'm just a commuter. At the end of the day, you don't need a super bike if you're just your average run-of-the-mill cyclist, really. I, I'm not after speed. This thing is not built for speed. Neither am I. So it's, you know, but riding a super bike has actually tempted me to start uh, maybe training a bit more. A few more hill wraps? No. <laughs> no, man. More sprints. More sprints, absolutely. Well, you never know. Love a sprint. So much, Bruno and Harriet, for being our guinea pigs today. You truly have been amazing, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let us know down in that comment section below what you'd like to see these two do next. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're in it now. Uh-oh. <laughs>